So work is finished. Would that okay, part two of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. We are now returning home. Not really much going on. Oh crap! <laughs> we upgraded the arsenal while you were away. Ah. Oh. And it is now customary for you to fire cannonballs at visitors. My apologies. Hell yeah. We only installed them a few days ago. My men are still being trained in their use. They're noobs at it. Don't know why we have to move so freaking slow. It's like, seriously. Reduce distance. What? I wasn't even that far away from him. I really want to get off the sword right now. Ezio! Look, it is Ezio! Let me see! Buongiorno! It's good to be home! Bonjour, we're in Italy. This place just keeps getting better. Thanks to you. Claudia. Oh, yeah. It is good to be home. Our hot sister. How is mother? She's fine. I, I heard you were returning, but I'm glad to see it with my own eyes. No, I'm kidding. She's actually the a computer Contessa figment. Is here to welcome not hot at all. I had no idea you were so famous. Katarina? Here? Is it finished, then? Is the Spaniard truly dead? Gather the others in Mario's study tonight. I'll explain everything there. Steal yourself, Itzio. They will have many questions. Claudia, tell the Contessa I look forward to seeing her this evening. Hell yeah, <laughs> this evening. Alright, we have a couple chores to do first. So let's go. I gotta go this way. This box is heavy. Oh, boohoo for you. Need some help. Salve. So many flowers. Your husband must be very lucky. I am the lucky one. I have you here to aid me. Let me see what I can do. Mm hmm. Back there, I may have given you the wrong impression. Oh? I have no husband. The flowers are for a party. Am I invited? Ha. To Claudia Auditori's birthday party in the village. You wish. If you are willing to help me again, I, I need someone with class to accompany me. What it's makes you think I have class? I could tell the moment I saw you. No one in this town walks with such bearing. I'm certain Ezio Auditori himself would be impressed. Oh? What do you know of Ezio? Claudia thinks the world of him. But he rarely visits her. Hmm. From what I gather, he's distant. She is right. I have been. Oh no. Huh? You? The party was intended to be a surprise. Promise you will not tell Claudia. What will you do to keep me quiet? I am sure I can think of several things. I'll be waiting to hear them when we get there. Several things. Giggity. Now about earning my silence. Hmm. I have something in mind. There is one condition. Anything. You must wait until tomorrow. If it pleases you, I will tomorrow. not stand in your way. Damn it. It will be worth the wait, Ezio. Trust me. That's sure convincing. Whatever, okay, we got that out of the way. Uh, now we can. Th I'm actually gonna do the. Uh, I'm gonna get the really because this one's actually really long. This next one's really long, so I'm gonna get the long one out of the way, and then I'll do the short one. Okay, we gotta climb up the wall. Oh yeah, look what we have now. Lifts. I love lifts so much. They make life easier. 
All right. So, these are the new cannons? Yes, Signor Ezio. May I try one? Yes, but... Go on, tell him. We cannot seem to make them work properly, and the fool who mounted them is nowhere to be found. Then it is up to me to find him. We do not want to waste your time. It is not any trouble. I have all the time in the world now. Supposedly. Alright, let's go find the lazy-ass engineer. Alright. Salve, Messere. We need you to fix the cannons on the battlements. Leave me be. I do not begin repairs before noon. Do you know what time it is? I make cannons, not clocks. If you are busy, someone else will fix them. Uno momento. No one else will touch my cannons. Soldiers have no respect for artillery. They expect a gun to work like magic. You need to feel her out. Give her a little encouragement. We are only equipped with simple cannons now. But I'm not here to hear you bitch about your soldiers. A hand cannon. Something called a wrought iron murderer. Imagine firing a cannon from your hands. <laughs> that is the future. Fascinating. Right. What have you done? We used them. They were not ready for firing. You could have gotten us all killed. Let me see. <laughs> His breath is more fatal than our cannons. Only when you two fools are shooting them. There, try it. This, I guess, is some kind of fun. Something to test the alignment. Right. Here we go. This part gets kind of boring a little though, because we have to reload every single shot. Ah, oh, damn it, I missed. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh. I'm pretty good. And Perfect! At least someone here knows how to shoot. Now, for the other one. Alright. I must go. Thanks for your help. If you hear the cannons tomorrow, do not worry. We will be practicing at dawn. Too bad it will not do you any good. Very funny. Now fix the second cannon. All right, now that we got that one out of the way, we've got one more little chore to do. Oh, I'm lucky that thing was there. That would have hurt. <coughs> Buongiorno. Ezio, Mario is going to murder me. I have lost his favorite horse. Do not despair. I will bring it back. God bless you, Ezio. Alright. Wherever the hell it is. Oh, there it is. Get back here, you little bitch. Oh, I know that's a female dog. Female dog. Wait, how do I mount? There we go. Hey, hey! Normally it'd be running in the other direction, but good thing that tree was in the way. Ah, <laughs> uh, here. Grazie, Ezio. I can no longer keep up with the horses. Promise me you will enjoy your good health. Do not spend as much time in battle as your Uncle Mario. My battles have already been won. That is good news. Arrivederci, Ezio. Whatever you say.
All right. I don't know why I just feel like assassinating somebody. <laughs> Let's feel that body up. Oh yeah, masturbation. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right. I want no part of this. I don't know really why. I don't know why I did that. I guess just because of the money. But if I kill another person, then I'll get desynchronized. And that's never fun. Oh. Buongiorno, Ezio. Katrina. Katarina. To what do I owe the pleasure of your presence here? I desire an allegiance. The papal armies have resumed their march on Forli. Your mercenaries would be a great asset to my cause. It is likely that I can give you what you seek. But we will talk later. Mother! Machiavelli. It is done. Though not, I think, as any of us expected. I entered the Vaticano and faced Rodrigo. No! He used the power of the papal staff against me, but I defeated him. Combining the staff and the apple, I gained access to the vault. There, a moving painting of the goddess Minerva spoke. She told of a terrible tragedy to befall mankind in the future, but gave hope of lost temples that will provide aid to humanity. And then she called out to a phantom, Desmond, as if he were there, standing beside me. After her warning, she vanished. Amazing. I cannot imagine such wonders. The vault did not house the terrible weapon we feared. This is good news. What of this goddess, this Minerva? Did she appear human? Yes, but her words proved otherwise. All of her kind died many years ago. I wish I could show you the magic she performed. Who is Desmond, and where are these temples Minerva spoke of? I do not know. Desmond's Perhaps his great, 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 great grandson. Tell me how it ended with Borgia. Huh. Did Rodrigo beg forgiveness? Make excuses? Promise power in return? No. None of those things. Interesting. I'm surprised he remained so composed. I let him leave. The Spaniard lives? Once our enemies are dead, we can speak of vaults and gods and ancient places. You should have killed him. We're sure to suffer for it. I am not here to debate the past. Together, we should discuss the future. No. I am leaving immediately for Roma. Ezio, I do not know why you spared him, but I trust your judgment. Machiavelli will come around. Mm, sure, okay, whatever. Whatever you say. Alright, go upstairs.